Justin. I mean, uh, obviously no one likes to have a loss, but another fight of the year candidate from you. I mean, give us an idea what the coach is like right now. You know, I, I didn't get in the sport to win or lose. I, I It's an entertainment factor for me, and I will be known as and remembered as one of the most entertaining fighters that ever did it. And, you know, I'm content with what just happened, as stupid and crazy as that sounds. You know, I felt so comfortable in there, so good. The best I've ever felt. You came out aggressive, as, as we'd expect, uh, but, you know, you seemed to handle it pretty well in the early going. You kind of tagged you a little bit early on. Was what, what 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 did he do different than you expected? I mean, what was it was it what you thought you'd see? It was it was just just like I thought it would be a, a fight, a fist fight. Uh, that's what I just got in tonight. I've, that's what I've been preparing for for 12 weeks. Um, <sighs> you guys, it's this is an unforgiving sport, and um, I don't recommend it to my enemy. But uh, it was, it's what I was born and bred to do. It looked like you might have the fight wrapped up in the third. Give me an idea, kind of what was going through your head. Did you think uh, this fight's over after you tagged him? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, he, I, I give him credit. You know, he pulled through and, and gathered himself and, and came back strong. Uh, you know, I, I think that, that big break from Herb Dean really helped him. I'll give him that. But, uh, you know, I don't fight to win or lose. As, as stupid and crazy as I am, um, and that sounds, I go in there to entertain people. Um, this is an entertainment business. I fight for money. And, you know, that what I do helps me get paid a lot of money. You, you talked about the break. I mean, you guys kind of had some words after the eye pokes and that sort of thing. Can you kind of say what was what was discussed? Yeah, we said, uh, you know, it's what we do. I was like, hey, I'm sorry, man. He's like, hey, yeah, I know you're not dirty. And then he poked me in the eye and said, <laughs> you know, it's what we do. It's what happens. Um, nothing but respect. I got nothing but respect for him. Um, you know, he took a – he's going to be hurting for a very long time. And, and last thing for me, I mean, obviously – it's fresh right now, but what do you think you do next? I mean, you know, people worried about your style and about how long yeah. you keep doing this. What, I mean, is um, it some time off? What, what, what yeah, time next? off. I got about five, five, five. You know, before this, I said I had six left. I got five fights. I fight for very. I fight for. I don't. I want the biggest fights possible. You know, coming off two losses, that's hard to say, but you want to see me fight. And uh, if if you don't see me fight live, you will regret it when you're done. Uh, when I'm done. And it's not going to be very long. i got about five left. So um, I want to golf when I'm 60. I have a human services degree. I want to do social work. And um, hopefully I can buy a lot of houses and, and make money that way. Initially, it seemed as though you were sort of upset at the stoppage. Um, looking back, what do you think about her being stoppage? I haven't watched it. I'll have to watch it. Um, I've never had a thought in a fight. So, I, you know, I, it's hard to process what, what just happened. I have to go back and watch it. Um, I felt so good in there and so comfortable, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it again. As stupid as that sounds. Safford definitely showed out the. Oh yeah. It's crazy today. Just what was it like being back here uh, for the first yeah. time since high school? It was. It was honestly amazing. Um, I was hoping to be scared and nervous this fight, but again, you know, nothing. I'm so comfortable with the atmosphere, with the pressure. And, uh, you know, it's not about winning or losing to me. I, I've never been worried about winning or losing. I'm, I, the only thing I'm scared of is not performing and not putting on an a entertaining fight. And I'm, you guys all know that sounds stupid, um, but it's, it's what I signed up for. It's my purpose. What did you think of the decision to take a point away in the third round? It's his job. I'm not going to criticize him for anything right now. I have to go back and watch it. Um, I didn't feel like I poked him in the eye. Um, I don't know. Can't say. Before your last fight uh, with uh, Alvarez, you hadn't been knocked out, and it almost seemed like you were welcoming an opportunity to have somebody knock you out. And then you were. Did your fit should feel any different in this fight after that? Yeah. Um, I wasn't wishing to get knocked out again. Um, but, you know, I, I can't change the way I fight. I, it's impossible for me. It is who I am, and it's how I will fight every single time I go in there. Uh, if that was a three-round fight, I won that. Um, but it was not. And last time I said if it was a five-round fight, I would have won it. So I just love to fight. Do you see yourself changing your style, not being as? I think I impressive? changed from the last fight to this fight. Um, you always, you know, you always try to learn. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not an idiot. Um, I'm not gonna go home and say, oh, I'll forget that, and I'll just do it again. You know, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna study what I did right, what I did wrong. And you know I'll make adjustments. And when you were in the cage during the the break with from the eye pokes, you were like uh, 
the conductor yeah. and the crowd was like your symphony. How did that feel? Uh, it is know, amazing. Um, it's what I dream of. Uh, it really is. That atmosphere, I thrive in it. And, you know, I wish I was a little bit less comfortable there, but it's just, it's just a part of me, and I love it. I know last time you were a little disappointed in, in your cardio. Um, how did yeah. you feel about it? Did felt feel so better? good in there. I've, I did everything I could. Um, there's nothing more I could have done. I couldn't have worked harder. I couldn't have swam more. I couldn't have ran more. I couldn't have biked more. I was ready. Um, and I'm fighting guys at the, the highest level. Every single fight right now is, is the best in the world. And, you know, matchups make fights. That, that was a great matchup for me. And, you know, I was landing power shots. And I felt good. It is what it is. You say you really like to entertain based on the crowd's reaction tonight. Are you really happy with what you did? Hey, you tell me. Was that entertaining? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, every single time I fight, it will be that. Uh, um, do you plan on throwing some grappling into your future fights? Or do you still plan on keeping staying up on your feet as much as possible? It's pretty evident I fight the way I fight. Um, eventually, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I, I don't go in there to not wrestle. Uh, you know, he, I use my wrestling to stop him from taking I, I was kicking his ass on my feet you know I was, my game plan was going there and break his leg break his body and he, I did that you know I was in the process of doing that he took it and you know it would have been stupid for me to try to get on top of him right there especially when I'm landing leg kicks like that I know this is perhaps premature but would you like a long break after this I think my body deserves it but who knows um, yeah I'll take a break I'll take a break uh, go on vacation Dustin called out Habib after the fight. Uh, after spending time in the octagon, how do you think he would do against him? I've never fought Habib, so I could not say. Excellent. But Habib is the best in the world. Uh, you know, Dustin's tough. Um, his grappling is gonna. You know, he's not necessarily a wrestler, so you have to stop. <laughs> you have to stop uh, Habib from putting you against the fence. And if you can't do that, you you're fucked. Thank, Thank you. Justin. Thank you. Appreciate it, Justin.